Chapter 1 Evolution of Computers Chapter Connect Generations of Computers Categories of Computers on the basis of working principle on the basis of size on the basis of brand we know that a computer is an electronic machine that performs mathematically and logical calculations the history of computers tells us that charles babbage is called the father of computers now in this chapter we shall read the types of computers and elaborate classification of computers computers can be classified in various ways depending on their generation working and brand generations of computers a generation refers to the state of improvement in the development of a product with each new generation the circuitry has gotten smaller and more advanced than the previous generation as a result of miniaturization speed power and memory of computers have proportionally increased New discoveries are constantly being developed that affect the way we live, work and play. The first generation 1946 to 1958 vacuum tubes the first generation computers were huge, slow, expensive and often undependable. In 1946, two Americans, Presper Eckert and John Marchley, built the ENIAC electronic computer which used vacuum tubes instead of the mechanical switches of the Mark I. The ENIAC used thousands of vacuum tubes which took up a lot of space and gave off a great deal of heat just like light bulbs do. Features Vacuum tube based punched tape input or output about 1000 circuits per cubic foot. Examples Howard Mark 1 Univac 1. Univac 2. Univac 1101. Cyber Fact Vacuum tubes were invented the same time the light bulb was invented by Thomas Alva Edison and worked very similar to light bulbs. The second generation 1959 to 1964 transistors. In 1947, three scientists, John Burden, William Shockley, and Walter Brattain, working in AT and T's Bell Labs, invented transistor. The transistor was faster, more reliable, smaller, and much cheaper to build than a vacuum tube. One transistor replaced the equivalent of 40 vacuum tubes. These transistors were made of solid material, some of which in silicon, an abundant element, secondly only to oxygen, found in beach and sand and glass. Therefore, they were very cheap to produce. Transistors were found to conduct electricity faster and better than vacuum tubes. Features Used transistors about 
1 lakh circuits per cubic foot examples univac 1107 rca 501 etc third generation 1965 1970 integrated circuits these computers were invented in the year 1965 In this generation of computer IC integrated circuit was used as the electronic component for computers the development of IC gave birth to a new field of microelectronics the main advantage of IC is not only its small size but its superior performance and reliability than the previous circuits Robert Noyes of Fairchild Corporation and Jack Kilby of Texas Instruments discovered the integrated circuits These computers could carry out instructions in billionths of a second The size of these machines dropped to the size of small file cabinets Features large scale integrated circuits 10 million circuits per square foot examples burrows 6700 control data 3300 etc the fourth generation 1971 the microprocessor this generation can be characterized by the invention of the microprocessor a single chip that could do all the processing of a full scale computer by putting millions of transistors onto one single chip more calculations and faster speeds could be reached by computers because electricity travels about a foot in a billionth of a second the smaller distance the greater the speed of computers these microprocessors led towards the invention of personal computers or microcomputers features very large scale integration cont- continued miniaturizations billions of circuits per cubic foot examples ibm system 3090 ibm risc 6000 etc the fifth generation present and beyond The fifth generation saw the introduction of machines with hundreds of processors that could all be working on different parts of a single program. Fifth generation computing devices based on artificial intelligence are still in development, though there are some applications such as voice recognition that are being used today. The use of parallel processing and superconductor is helping to make artificial intelligence a reality cyber fact a mini computer is a multiprocessing system capable of supporting from 4 to about 200 users simultaneously categories of computers On the basis of working principle analog computer an analog computer is a computer that represents data by measurable quantities as voltages by expressing the data as number digital computer this is a computer that performs calculations and logical operations with quantities represented as digits usually in the binary number system hybrid computer analog plus digital a combination of computers those are capable of inputting and outputting in both digital and analog signals a hybrid computer system setup offers a cost effective method of performing complex simultations
on the basis of size supercomputer a supercomputer is a computer that performs at or nearly the currently highest operational rate for computers a supercomputer is typically used for scientific and, and engineering applications that must handle very large database or do a great amount of computation other uses of supercomputers include animated graphics fluid dynamic calculations nuclear energy research and petroleum exploration mainframe computer mainframes are a type of computer that generally are known for their large size amount of storage processing power and high level of reliability they are primarily used by large organizations for mission critical applications requiring high volumes of data processing mini computer a mid-sized computer in size and power many computers lie between workstations and mainframe in the past decade the distinction between large mini computers and small mainframes has blurred however it has the distinction between small mini computers and workstations microcomputer the microcomputer is a digital computer system that is controlled by storage program that uses a microprocessor a programmable read only memory rom and a random access memory ram some of the microcomputers are desktop computer a personal or micro mini computer sufficient to fit on a desk laptop computer a portable computer complete with an integrated screen and keyboard it is generally smaller in size than a desktop computer and larger than a notebook computer palm top computer a hand sized computer palm tops have no keyboard but the screen serves both as an input and output device work stations workstations are terminal or desktop computer in a network in this context a workstation is just a generic term for a user's machine client machine in contrast to a server or mainframe on the basis of brand IBM computers refers to a family of personal computers produced by IBM Apple Macintosh computers the Macintosh or Mac is a line of personal computers PCs designed developed and marketed by Apple incorporated it was initially targeted mainly at the home education and creative professional markets Charles Babbage is called the father of computers The first generation computers were huge slow expensive and often undependable integrated circuits were used as electronic components for computers The microprocessor led towards the invention of personal computers or microcomputers. Digital computers processes information with quantities using digits usually using the bi binary number system. Hybrid computer is a combination of computer those are capable of inputting and outputting in both digital and analog signals. 
supercomputers perform at or nearly the current highest operational rate per computer laptop is a portable computer complete with an integrated screen and keyboard